So now, let's go. The class has started right now. So, good morning, class. Good morning, good morning Mr. Yoon. Very good. So, we, in the other class, we started variation and we looked at the formula for direct variation, which was um, y equal to kx, where k is constant of proportionality. So in this lesson, we are going to look at another aspect of direct variation, but this time around, it is going to be end power. So now, here it goes. So we can say that y is directly proportional to the square. Directly, let me write it down. y is directly proportional to the square of x, to the square of x. Or you can say y varies directly, directly as x squared x squared. So y direct varies directly as x squared. So, so what that means? What means? Yes, it's the same thing as saying direct variation. So basically, you are saying that y is directly proportional to x squared. x squared. Okay? Now, for you to remove this sign of proportionality, you have to introduce constant of... Um, Proportionality. So you can say that y is equal to k x squared, where k is a constant. Okay? So now, this formula, if you want to compare it to a physical quantity, it is similar to area equal to what's the formula for area of a circle? Area of a circle. Pi r squared, right? Pi r squared. See? So this is a physical quantity. Pi is a number. Radius is a variable just like this. Okay? So, so now if they want us to create a, um, a mathematical model that describes this, in other words, we have to do the same thing that we did the other side. So now let's just make up some numbers. If, if y is... If y is what? Give me a number. 20. And x is what? 10. Okay, let's just use uh, 10. And x equal to 10. So create, create um, math model that relates, relates, um, y and x. They can say y and x. They can also say x and y. Okay? Now, in that case, so here's our solution. So in that case, we need to write our expression first, which is um, y is proportional to x squared, which is the same thing as saying y is equal to k x squared. Now, if, if y is 20, all we got to do is substitute the value of y to be 20. So we have 20 is equal to k. x is 10, right? 10 squared. So what is 10 squared? 100. So this is a k multiplied by 100 equal to 20. So what is the value of k? What is the value of k? 2 over 10. 2 over 10 which is equal to 1 over 5. Is that correct? Yeah. So if we do 20 over 20, no, 20 over 100, we are dividing both sides by 100, is equal to k multiplied by 100 over 100. So this crosses out.